Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we will discuss about the Java split method, which is a method you can use to split a given string into substrings while specifying a delimiter. One important thing to note about this method is that it returns an array of strings. So I'm going to use some examples um, to show you the two variations of uh, this split method. In the first example, I will show you how to split a given string into substrings and have it return an array of strings. Let me start by declaring a string variable. So I will say string, I will call it str1 and uh, I'll give it this value. So next, uh, since this method is going to return an array of strings, I'm going to declare an array uh, that will be used to store the returned value whenever the method is executed. So I will say string, substring, substrings. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I need to call the method. So I will say str1, which is my given variable and split and inside the brackets I will specify the delimiter so the forward slash here inside the brackets is the delimiter this means that wherever the method finds this forward slash character it will split the given string okay at that precise uh, position Now we need to find a way to output all the values uh, stored in the array of strings. So all the strings after splitting the string, it was going to be stored in an array. So we have to find a way to output all the values stored in the array. If I do a system that out that print line like this, and then uh, just write the name of my array. This is not going to work. We won't be able to find the, the content of our array, okay? All the strings that are contained in our array. So instead of doing it like this, I would rather use the arrays to string method. So a method that is going to convert this substrings array into a string in order to be able to see all the values contained in this array. So arrays to string, if I open the brackets and inside the brackets here, I write substring, uh, substrings. So as I said, this is going to convert the array into a string and allow us to view you know the content of the string of the array so as you can see now we have three values in our array and uh and as you can see the split method has splitted our uh, str1 string and uh, it has also used the delimiter to do that so now we have three strings contained in substrings array yeah that's it so we can also so this is just uh, an example we can also um output each substring at uh, every array index position for example if you just do print line and then do uh, substrings at index position zero, it will return 23. So that means that the substring 23 is positioned at the index uh, zero. Okay, if I do one here, it will return zero five. 
as you can see, 0, 05. If I do 2, it will return 2020. Yeah, so that's actually what I wanted to show. Now, in the second example, I will show you how to limit the number of substrings to be returned after splitting a given string. So I will still keep this, this portion of code, but I will add another parameter here. I will say, for example, two, like this. So as we already know, the forward slash here is the delimiter. So whatever the method finds this forward slash, it will split the, split the given string at that precise position. And the value, the parameter two here represents the limited number of strings to be outputted, okay? So we have the delimiter, it will split our string, but here, what the method is going to do is that it's only going to return two characters. Okay. Uh, so this method is uh, when it's evaluated, it's going to support, it's supposed to return an array of only two strings. So even if the delimiter is present in the array more than um, two times. So let me run this and you will see what I was saying. So now here, as you can see in the array, we have two substrings. Normally, if we didn't put the number of uh, substrings to be returned, we were supposed to get three. But since we put the value two here, which is representing the number of substrings to be returned, we are getting two values only okay if you say one for example you will get i'm getting this one value so just like i said so in this second example you can limit the number of substrings to be returned in the array after splitting a given string okay so that uh, you can notice that um, that's how you can use that. Let me add, for example, another value here. For example, I would say 100, something like this. If I say two and run, as you can see, I'm only getting two values, even though the delimiter is. Um, present in our string more than once. So, okay, we have three occurrences of the delimiter here, but since we specified that the number of values to be returned has to be two, uh, that's why we only having two values here. So it's going to split from the first occurrence and uh, the other occurrence is not going to split since it has already reached the limited number of uh, substrings to be returned. Okay, so that was it concerning the split method and the two variations. The, the first variation was that you could um, split, you know, your string into different substrings and return uh, these substrings in an array. And also the second variation showed us how you can limit the number of substrings to be returned, okay, as I've just shown you right now. So that, that was it concerning the split method and thanks for viewing. And please feel free to ask any question in the comments and also to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for viewing. Let's meet in another video.